Hey guys, here today, uh, going to do an install and review video on the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors for the uh, 2015, well, I guess 2014 and up, uh, 1500 half ton Silverados. Uh, as you can see, I've got just the basic non-power uh, manual fold heated glass. I don't have a signal in the glass, um, but tow mirrors are going to be changing some of that with what I've ordered. Um, so we'll dive right in here. I've already just cut the packaging open. Uh, they send these things really, really nicely packaged. Uh, so I don't think anybody would have any issues with them getting damaged in shipping. So I went with, um, it's still a manual, excuse me, manual extend. And then it's got the signal in the glass. They are heated. Um, the top part is power. And then I got the chrome cap with the amber dots on the front. And those will run as a running light. And then also, this light over here is the high beam spot option. And then to modify my harness, my truck is the uh, 2015 and a half and newer, um, but to modify the harness, this is the kit that comes with it. So part number 1846. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through that in the video as well. Uh, so we won't belabor this too much. I'll try to keep the video as short and concise as possible, but show you as much information uh, that you'll need to know about getting these things installed and modifying the harness. Uh, if you want to do this as well. All right, so step one, I'm going to start on the passenger side. You want to come in here to this panel. You're going to remove it. Just use a small screwdriver, and that's going to show you the seven millimeter bolt right there. Also, two more seven millimeters in here. I just use this little screwdriver. This is a notch that goes up in the door piece back there. And then on the handle pull, there's a small one over there that you just use the screwdriver to pry it out. I'm going to take my 7 millimeter and remove these three, and then we'll go for this panel here next and pull it straight out. Okay, with that panel removed, uh, you can see there's these four detents on there. You've got to give it some pretty good pressure. I actually had to use the screwdriver and pry in between it to get it started, and then I could pull it straight off. Okay, so just to be clear, I've got one 7 millimeter, two 7 millimeters. The third one, you actually don't need to remove all these. The third one you need to remove is in there. You need an extension to get it. And then at the bottom of the door, there is one there and one there. So in total, you're gonna remove six. And then you can pry the panel off. Okay, so I was a little deficient here being one-handed, but what I've done is I've taken the panel off and it's one entire piece. And then this is a second piece that comes up here. And to remove it, you just do the steps I showed you a second ago and you want to kind of start at the front and just get the, the uh, plastic tabs out or the pins I guess you'll call them. Uh, work your way all the way around from the bottom and then to the side and after you've done all that you can come kind of I held on the left side and the right side and then just kind of lift it up and that allowed it to come out. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is come to your door release handle. You're going to push down on this piece of plastic and you pull straight back um, the whole thing's not going to come out, but it will release this, this yellow part, and then you can kind of release this and pull the ball up out. Next thing you'll have to do um, is disconnect this from the back side of that door panel. And to do that, uh, I'll actually have to come over here. And it is this part of the house. There's a little kind of maroon colored tab. You pull that down, and then uh, you can move this ray lever and it just dis right disconnects like that. Okay, so I finally wrestled the door harness out and it's not a simple thing to do. This uh, rubber piece uh, kind of has a gasket, it will reseal. Um, you've got to take this bracket off, it's what holds the door handle, kind of supports it. And then you have to take the speaker out, again another 7 millimeter. It's right there, just got the one. Um, and then you have to come to the door jam and disconnect the plug that goes there. And to do that, you want to just stick a little screwdriver in and get the plastic part back. And this is, of course, after you peel back the rubber grommet um, and also remove sorry guys, uh, this piece right here just to support where that grommet goes over it. Uh, and then after you do that, uh, there's several little Christmas tree pins where the harness is into the door. 
Uh, this you do not have to remove. This plugs into this plug in right here and this little red slider, uh, you just pull it back and that allows you to just push in the tab and then slide it off so you don't actually have to unbolt that and take it out. Um, but you just go through, take it off a series of Christmas trees and then work it out through the hole where the door jam is right there and the whole harness pulls out right there. So it got dark on me <clears throat> when I was finishing the passenger side. So I had to move over, or actually finish it up and move over to the driver's side. And I wanted to pause right here after I've got the panel off just to show you guys you know, where to go from here. So after you get everything unhooked, the panel's off, uh, that's it down there. You're gonna see, um, it's kind of like a rubberized material. And this is what is going to need to be peeled back. And it's got whatever this resealable, almost gasket-like material. So you, you literally take the whole thing off, uh, just peel it off, be careful, don't rip it. Um, feed your door release cable through. Uh, but before you take it off, you do have to take these seven millimeters out and you'll move the, remove the metal bracket. Now, when you have that taken off, this is where you get to the fun part. And I can't show you all this on video just because I only have one hand, uh, but you wanna come in. This is your power lock connector. Uh, this is your window motor. So you push it down right there. Remove that. You'll need a little screwdriver to come in behind here uh, and release that tab and this, both of these pieces connected will slide off. Additionally, uh, you're gonna have these little Christmas trees. Another there, there, and here. Uh, this is another one. This black piece doesn't need to come off, but you will need to slide. It's like a little red piece on the back of this. I can't, I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Uh, but you'll want to just slide that down and then take it off and then go through and get the rest of the Christmas trees. After you do that, you come in here, uh, you can remove this ground, but it's easy to do with a little screwdriver. I wanted to stop and take a second to show you, or just give you more, of, more or less a little tip. I'm not going to go through the exact process of where every single pin goes because Boost Auto Parts has that really, really nicely and neatly outlined in their videos. Uh, but I wanted to show you a trick to running their harness if you're going to modify your own harness, uh, how to more easily run the wires through it. Uh, so what I've found is this is the part that goes in the door jam. If you grab it with one hand and scrunch it up like that, uh, it eliminates the snag points because this ribbed, I guess, ducting, if you want to call it. Uh, is a snag point for those little pins as you run them through. So when it's like that, it tends to get caught on. So if you run it like this, uh, scrunch it up as much as you can, it'll really open up that channel and allow you to pull the wires through a little bit more easily. Okay, so my install is complete now. I've got both sides on. I'd say it probably took me three and a half to four hours to do the whole thing. Uh, longest part is definitely getting the door panels off and fishing those harnesses out uh, and then actually using the kit to um, run the pins to both of the connectors. Now that I've done it, I bet I could do one in under two hours, probably an hour and a half to two hours. Um, you know, now that I understand how to get the door panels off, get everything out and know exactly where everything goes. Um, but it difficulty wise, um, it, I don't want to call it easy. If you're not comfortable working with electrical connectors and pins, um, splicing wires, things like that, you may uh, you may not want to go this route. Um, but if you are comfortable working with that kind of thing, it's not too bad. Uh, the mirrors look great. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the fit, finish, and quality of the actual mirror itself. Uh, if you already have the harness, you know, where you can do plug and play and you just want to put the mirrors on, you can do it in under an hour uh, for both sides. Honestly, you could probably do it in less than 45 minutes. Um, I'll hit the key real quick. The light right there is a running light. So let me actually start the truck. So that, that is a running light as well. Uh, that's not an OEM option. Uh, there, there are signals in the mirrors now, in both mirrors. That one, of course, is folded in over there. Um, I did not have that on my OEM mirrors. And then, of course, this 
is a cargo and, or excuse me, just cargo high output spot. I did not want it in reverse. Uh, I didn't opt for that option. So those of you curious just to see the, the high output spot functionality, I uh, wanted to come in and show you real quick. So this is the cargo light switch that you hit. Uh, with that, these lights will come on. So right now they're off and that's on. Uh, so just to give you an idea of what this feature actually does, uh, that's what, of course, I got a bunch of exhaust fumes showing up over there. Uh, but I highly, highly recommend doing the high output one. It makes backing up and seeing behind you uh, really, really nice. Um, so the, everything I have today that you saw in this video is from Boost Auto Parts. Uh, if you're interested in adding tow mirrors to your uh, 1500 or 2500 Silverado, um, definitely head over to their site and give them a look. It's kind of an a la carte shopping experience with different options you can get. And uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe uh, for future content. And thank you for watching.